you want for all that you believe. It's right to fight for what we want, to live the way we please. As long as we have done our best, then no one can do more. And life and love and happiness are well... Episode 4 started. <laughs> all right, all right. There I was having a quiet kick when I heard the theme tune. Oh, boots, wrong door, dreadful dressing rooms. Too right. <laughs> I'm not even dressed. All these belts and buckles, it takes three hours to get ready. <laughs> ready yet? Do I look flashy enough? Yeah, and all I've got is this pen knife. Flesh, <laughs> I simply can't be in this week's episode. I told you not to eat the fish. I've got this week's migraine, I've run out of cotton buds. But don't worry, Flesh and Blade. I've worked out a way you can get out of the hotel. Clever thing that I am. It's a simple plan, but brilliant. You can escape disguised as a duvet. Hmm? Morning, Mr. Duvet. What a cunning disguise. Time for some music. <laughs> Okay, watch out! Eat duvet scum! Don't oh, watch out, they're sharp, they are! What's happening? Let go of me, give me a gun, and I'll have all of you! This is unusual! Oh, oh dear, dear. It's not fair. We always escape. Hello. How's things? Fine, yeah? Well, not to me. Oh, he's a dreadful man. Who is? Our captor, Laughing Jim. The man with the worst interior design in the whole world. <laughs> he doesn't use wallpaper. Oh. <laughs> but tell me, why do they call him Laughing Jim? Ah, oh, flashing blade. He keeps you here until you laugh at one of his jokes. Well, I don't mind having a good laugh. Don't speak so soon. You haven't heard the jokes yet. Oh, how cold you now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a good one. Now, what do you call a man, right, up to his neck in a swimming pool, eh? Do you know? A bob! Bob! No. <laughs> Here's another. Oh, what do you call a woman with two toilets? A two toilets. Hey, go on, Mrs. Go on, go on, go on, love. Have a guess. Go on. Go on, have a guess. Go on. I don't know. What do you call a lady with two lavatories? A lavatory is a common word. No, oh, it's common, dear me. Go on, now. You give me the punchline. Have a go. Oh, very well then. I suppose the lady's name must be Lulu. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Now, now, go on. Oh. You tell me one. Go on, go on. Go on. Very well, if I must. What does one call a man with a seagull on his head? What would you call this particular gentleman Cliff? Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 you get it? No, do you? Do you get it? No, oh, 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 oh. no. Oh. <laughs> That's not funny. You always made the servants laugh. Oh, you try one. What do you call a woman with a frog on her head? Oh, uh, Lily. Oh, uh, oh, 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 that's funny. That's funny, funny. You're good, you are. You're so funny, I'm going to let you stay a full tea. I am. I hate to be the one to tell you this. You won't finish that jumper by Christmas. You simply can't get the wall. Hey, ho. My daughter is incredibly stupid. Oh. <clears throat> Hi there, I'm the incredibly handsome person. You can flash all you like. You're still a nasty, common little man. And you've got the most ridiculous hair I've ever seen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, now here's a good one. Listen, will you pay attention? Now, now, as I was saying, here, put that pork chop down, you. Thank you. Now, there's an Englishman, an Irishman, a lawn mower, and they all go on a field trip to Bog. No more! <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, my God.